The punchline there, I believe, is this, that in this headlong rush to go green, and I use that word in quotation marks, in this headlong rush to go green, the U.S. is simply trading one type of, Im uh, of import reliance for another. Instead of relying on the global market, an integrated global market, a liquid global market with great transparency, we are going to be more dependent on a single market uh, where there is no transparency and there is one dominant market player who happens to own most of our debt already. Um, the Chinese clearly understand what is at stake. Deng Xiaoping, uh, you've heard of him, the former Communist Party boss, said, there is oil in the Middle East, there are rare earths in China. We must take full advantage of this resource. And they are doing just that. Chinese reportedly have a thousand PhD level scientists working on this issue and uh, they are increasing their share of global exports of high technology goods. Between 1985 and 2005, their export volume of high tech goods went from zero to $450 billion. The Japanese are clearly very concerned about the market for lanthanides and the Chinese control of the marketplace. Um, in that time frame that I mentioned from the 1980s to 05, China's share of the global high-tech manufacturing market went from 1% to 16%, and it is growing to this uh, even faster likely now. Um, so what is the future? I'll sum up. Um, Molly Corp, I mentioned why, because they are uh, the big player, I think, coming, for, coming uh, uh, in the next couple of years with the potential to provide a significant slug of new supply of lanthanides. There are a couple of other companies, Arafura Resources, Linus, both of which are Australian. Uh, there's another company in uh, Canada, uh, their, their, uh, their name escapes me, their, their, their ore body is Avon Lake. Um, and these are uh, very uh, uh, speculative companies. They're not producing anything. They're not mining right now. Uh, but they are all betting that, uh, that this demand for lanthanides continues rising. Today, the market is about 100,000 tons per year. Estimates are that within two to three years, the market demand will be 120 to 130,000 tons per year. Um, so I've given you the quick primer on the lanthanides. The punchline here, I think, uh, uh, one other punchline is that this discussion has not been uh, very uh, prominent in the popular media, but you will be hearing more about it in the next few years. Um, as a, a one, uh, just a addendum here at the end, uh, Jan talked a little bit about algae, and I'll just give you one little, uh, I've, I've written a little bit about algae. I went running yesterday. If you look across the street here, well, now I don't know which direction I'm pointing. Uh, well, across from the lobby, synthetic genomics is right across the street. Well, if you recall, just a few months ago, ExxonMobil announced, and very much ballyhooed announcement, they were going to invest up to $600 million in algae fuel research with synthetic genomics. Now, that's a little misleading because when you read Exxon's statement, they said it's up to $600 million, and they were going to invest about $300 million of their own money, and some of that would then go to synthetic genomics. I've met one of the, 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 the key officers at synthetic genomics. They're very bullish on algae and their ability to produce lipids from their strains of algae, and their ability to produce new, strain, or new um, generations of algae is one of the things that they say is their key technology. Um, but how, how do I see ExxonMobil's uh, bet? I see it as just that. If you think about uh, the problems, and Peter can talk, uh, Peter Wells will talk more about some of the difficulties in bringing new uh, frontier uh, oil exploration uh, uh, production on stream. If you think about a $600 million bet for a company like Exxon, where their market capitalization is $400 billion, $500 billion, this is not a major deal for them. When you think about a major offshore investment, and that's where they're, they're putting a lot of their money now, of being multiple billions of dollars, 600 million in a company, this company across the street, you know, they're saying, well, algae, it might work, might not, but let's hedge our bets here and see what happens. So I'll stop there. Thank you very much for your attention.